it's a look. All right, <laughs> it is Sunday morning and I'm a little annoyed with myself. I thought it was supposed to rain later today. It started raining very early and I left all my pillows and blankets out. So we are so good at bringing them in and keeping an eye on the weather, but I really messed this one up. It is actually like eight o'clock this morning. So I slept in a little bit, which I needed. And now that it's raining, I did go ahead and pull my front porch mums. I just pulled them out into the yard so that they get a little rain and watering. Um, I love a rainy day though. We are going to make a cup of coffee to get our day started. I've actually gotten a lot of questions about, look how cute this mug is by the way. This is from Target, it says boo inside. I get lots of questions about my coffee machine. There were actually several today, yesterday um, about if I think it's worth it, do I love it? I do love it. Steven still stands by his Nespresso and I actually have a Nespresso in my office at work, but I love my DeLonghi Aletta cappuccino machine. I was doing like lots of syrups. I keep vanilla, hazelnut, and caramel on stock. They're always there at our coffee station. And I often do a latte. You add your milk into this canister and it does everything for you. You just pop out the water and steamer and pop the milk container in. However, lately I've been like simplifying my coffee and I've been doing extra long. That means it pulls the shot longer. This is an espresso machine. Um, and you put your beans in the back and it grinds them fresh. I do an extra long. You can also do um, a short coffee, a standard coffee, a long coffee, but I do an extra long. I just haven't been using the milk tool as much as I was and that's just because my taste has changed and I've just simplified my coffee. I am sore today. <laughs> Not like overly sore. I'm still gonna do the workout today. Um, but I am gonna build in a rest day as I go because like as I get used to it, I'm gonna work out harder. So I'm a little sore. But I will let my body get warmed up before we work out today. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and just relax. All right, friends, I am about to head off in the rain to do our grocery shopping and to get a haircut and just run some errands. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing because it's one of my favorite things and it makes such a good gift. I'm just wearing a black sweatshirt and this raincoat that I've had forever. I think I bought this when we still lived in Charlotte. It's from American Apparel. I don't even know. It used to be a popular store like with Urban Outfitters at one point. I don't even know if it's still around anymore, but it's that old. Um, but I love it so much. I wear it all the time when it rains. And then I'm wearing the Chelsea Boot Hunters. They are my favorite ones. I suggest everyone have them. I have them in this color and in olive green. They are just so much better than the High Wellies. The reason I'm filming before I get into my car is because in my car, I'm really struggling oh, to find a place to put the camera. It just, the dashboard sits lower than in my Volvo. And it used to just, I used to not even put my camera on anything. I used to just sit it on the dashboard on this like sticky mat and it worked so well. But in this car, I can't find the right setup. So that could be a good thing, but I'm hoping by Vlogmas I can figure out some sort of way to set up my camera in my car. So, all right, I am going to get going and catch up with you in a little bit. I just got back from running my errands and getting my hair cut. Hold on, let me show you my hair cut. It looks good. So, it's a little wet from being outside, but actually it doesn't look good, but I promise it does look good. Uh, it's just not styled or anything yet. But hold on, let me flip you around, I'll show you. I'm stocking up on a couple of things that I know I can keep um, as more company starts happening this time of year or like maybe a friend coming over or something like that. So I just wanted to grab a couple extra things. So um, yeah, 
This is what I grabbed <laughs> that's in no order. But I'm just gonna highlight a couple of my favorite things. The habanero lime tortillas. I prefer these over bread for a sandwich, so good. Other things that I'm loving from Trader Joe's, you guys know Steven and I have pot stickers almost once a week now, so it's such an easy dinner. I put them in my steam basket for a couple minutes, they're done. Their falafel the best, their sourdough is the best. This is one of my favorites. Fry up these potato pancakes in a pan, and then make an arugula salad with like a lemon vinaigrette. Super simple, delicious, easy, meat-free dinner. Um, I'm loving these pumpkin tortilla chips. They just have like a subtle pumpkin flavor that is delicious. I picked up Steven some maple sea salt kettle corn and his maple leaf cookies that are his favorites. Bubba's loves a Trader Joe's ginger cookie, so I got him those. <laughs> Um, we got some spice cider. These are a go-to snack for me at work. The Vermont uncured pepperoni. These beef sticks. I got some cinnamon rolls just to keep for company. I have another in the fridge. But like nothing else is really significant or important. I did go to our local dairy. I've been going every weekend. I got myself chicken noodle soup for this afternoon. I got an apple cider. I got some maple sugar candy. Some pumpkin ice cream, best ice cream around. Um, some pan loaf bread, and then some biscuits. I am going to whip up some chili right now. I actually have the turkey over there. It's not a fancy recipe, so I'm gonna get this put away. I'm gonna get my cook. I'm gonna get my turkey going. I get lots of questions about like the pans I use, things like that. I use all clad. I've had their stainless steel pans um, that are all stainless steel. I actually prefer the non-stick all-clad pans. I also love their handles are really long so they don't get as hot. Um, yeah, and then for a lot of my cooking, I use all my La Crusade. This whole cabinet is La Crusade, and then this whole cabinet is La Crusade, except for some syrups. Um, on this side, I have all of my like pan pans and saucepans and pieces like that. On this are all my stock pots, and then up here is all my La Crusade bakeware. But everyone asks what I use. I use all clad and La Crusade, that is it. And then, well, I guess my cookie sheets. My cookie sheets, I use the gold cookie sheets from Williams Sonoma. So that is my cookware favorites. I will link my top two, three favorite La Crusade and all clad pans that I use the most um, down below for you to check out. All right, I'm gonna get the turkey browning. I'm gonna get this stuff put away. I am making the chili. So I have one large shallot that I'm putting in right now and my turkey is browned with onion powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of chili powder, nothing fancy. I'm adding two cans of crushed tomatoes. These are fire roasted. I just think they give a better flavor to everything. I'm adding one whole can, not drained, of the Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm adding a can of red beans, red kidney beans, and a can of black beans. i give that all a quick stir. This is literally the easiest chili. I, if you've watched me make chili before, I add typically one can of refried beans. It really like makes the texture great. I forgot to pick them up and I don't have any in stock. So we're just gonna go with this. And then I'm just gonna season this with some garlic, chili powder. I use the Trader Joe's chili powder mix and let this sit all day and it'll be great. Now I'm going to serve it with jalapeno and cheddar biscuits that I picked up. So that's gonna be our easy, quick dinner for tonight and probably my lunch for tomorrow. Also, this apron from Amazon is literally the best thing and I know a lot of us are gonna be spending a lot of time in our kitchens coming up, doing a lot of cooking. I highly suggest getting this apron. I absolutely love it. It fits so nice. You don't have to tie it around your waist. It crosses in the back. It has pockets. I drop my phone in. It's just a really, really great apron. I recommend it. It comes in a bunch of colors. I'll leave it linked for you. It's from Amazon. It's so good. 
good. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna throw in my seasonings and get the rest of this put away. Groceries are put away, threw out the trash, have the chili going. I need 20 minutes to do level one of the workout. I'm feeling better now that I've been moving. I don't feel sore anymore. I think it was just like waking up. But I'm gonna hurry up, put on my workout clothes, and try to get that done before Steven and Bubba's get home from their walk. I just finished day two. Look how sweaty I am. It is a good workout. I push myself really hard. I actually like shorten even the break, the small amount of breaks that's there and just keep getting extra reps in. But I feel really good. I'm gonna go get showered, get cleaned up. And like we're in a great, great spot um, for the day. Dinner, errands done, workout done. All right, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Bubby, Bubby, say hi everyone. Hi everyone. Was a good boy who had a good walk, didn't you? What a good walk. Yes, you did. It was a good old man. All right, gonna get cleaned up, and then we might put the bats on the front door. I haven't decided, it's very humid out today. I don't know if I wanna do that today, but we'll see. All right, friends, a lot of you have been asking about advent calendars because right now is the time to order them. I'm gonna go through some of the ones that I ordered. I was really happy with the Beekman advent calendar, so I ended up ordering it again, and it looks like they diversified everything that they're putting in it but it also is like a lit box. I am all about the packaging. I think it makes for a great advent calendar. So I ordered the Beekman 1802 one again. Really excited about it. The next one that I'm super excited, I think everyone like upped their game with packaging. Rituals, I have bought that one. It's the only one I've bought every single year because I'm so happy with it. The sample sizes are amazing. Rituals products are so good. I bought all of, I bought this one. It's already low in stock. It's sometimes find, hard to find a good figurine one. This one from Mary Mary is so good, but the website it on, it's on is Masonette. I think that's how you say it. But it's a dog advent calendar with little dogs in a dog house, in a dog bed. I bought it. I'm super excited about it. Um, I will leave it linked, but it's also low in stock and it just released. So, I mean, I hope that you can get it. I'll link all the ones that I can. The next one that I bought is only a 12 day one. So I'm hoping the candles are a good size, but it is the Value Spa Advent Calendar Candle Set. Super excited about it. It's 12 days. So I picked up this one. Um, this one at Neiman Marcus is My Sugar Fina. I get it every year. You know we have to sing the song. It's also a pre-order as well. Um, it doesn't ship until I think the end of the month. Then William Sonoma has a bunch of great ones. Dolly Parton has an advent calendar. You know I bought it. The other one that we are buying from William Sonoma is we did woofers last year, but we are actually doing this one for Bubba's this year. It is all organic. Each treat is wrapped individually, and we are doing this one for him this year, which we're really excited about. Steven did order the 24 days of tea. This is the one that he kind of opens during Vlogmas. I know he got that one. Lastly, the other one that I ordered was from QVC. I have a really hard time getting my hands on a wine advent calendar, and I really wanted to get one again this year. My mom picked me up one. I believe it was like from Kroger's or Aldi's. She got her hands on it. Our grocery stores in New York don't sell wine, so, I ordered this one. This one was also, I think, um, a pre-order, but it looks like it might be shipping now. So I ordered this as well. So those are the advent calendars that I picked up. I will honestly recommend this one. I was really on the fence with buying it because I really did enjoy it last year. And that was um, the White Company's advent calendar. I really thought about buying it again. I used every candle. I used every product. The bath oils are amazing. The White Company is one of my favorites. Diptyque, if you've never had it before, it is worth the splurge if you like Diptyque candles. I think if you've had it, I think I've had it four years now, it's not worth it. it they don't change out the products. It gets kind of old. Um, 
that was the one reason I went back with Beekman 1802 is because they switched out a lot of the products in the way they did it last year and the packaging was so beautiful. White Companies is a really great one because it's such a diverse group of products and the calendar itself is always super high quality and beautiful. And then when you're done with your advent calendars, you can use them to organize planners and paper clips and office supplies and like you can really utilize it for other things um, if it's built well. So those are advent calendars that I'm loving. I'm gonna link all the ones that I've bought, ones that I have bought in previous years and have loved, and I think you guys will find it really helpful. Alrighty, friends, so it is a little bit later in the afternoon. Steven is taking a nap, Bubba's and I are chilling on the couch and reading and hanging out. I shared advent calendars. We've had a nice Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog so I can enjoy my night and I will be filming all week And then once again, you'll get a video on Friday that encompasses the week and then a Saturday and Sunday video, but I'm excited. I feel like I'm getting into the routine of things again, and it's so good to just be connected um, I hope you get your hands on advent calendars if you do leave comments also make sure that you give this a thumbs up It really helps share 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 um, Let's grow before vlogmas um, and connect more people to all of us and let's make it a great week Take care of yourself take care of others and be kind kindness is free give it to everyone until next time Which will be really soon Bye everyone